Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. We'll start the timer, and in this video we're going to cover a very common sequence known as the Circle of Fifth Sequence. And as you might figure, it's a sequence that goes through the Circle of Fifths. And remember, when we're talking about Circle of Fifths, we're, we're implying a descending circle. So let me make a nice little grand staff here, and we'll stay in C major. And we're going to start with a tonic chord. Now, if you think about what the next step would be in the circle of fifths, I'm going to start up here with that bass note. The next step will be a subdominant chord, and that in the key of C would be an F major chord. And then we just continue going through the circle of fifths. The next step would be a leading tone chord, like that. And then after the leading tone chord, mediant. And then after the mediant, we would end up with a submediant. And then after the submediant, supertonic, dominant. And then if we continue all the way through the circle, I know my logo's in the way there, we actually go all the way back to tonic here. And then we're going to go here, 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 here. Now, if we voiced these all as root position triads, we get a nice um, circle of fifths sequence, which um, is both a chord progression that follows the circle of fifths and is considered a sequence. And it's the absolutely the most common sequence that exists. When you're analyzing music, you do have to make sure you're looking at your landscape because it's sometimes you might notice that there's a couple of chords that just don't make sense harmonically. And it might be that you're looking at a sequence. So take a step back and look, you, could, you can see the pattern here happening in this bass line. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. You can even hear just with the bass line how it resolves itself. Now there is a little bit of an issue here and different theory texts and theory teachers will deal with this differently. Remember it's music theory, not music law. But what's happening here is this is a leading tone triad in root position, which is usually a huge no-no because you can't have a diminished triad in root position. You also can't have a leading tone triad in root position because you have to double that leading tone. So a couple ways around this. First, it's okay in this situation, believe it or not, because it's in the middle of a sequence, and in a sequence, the chords don't have harmonic function. It's the pattern that rules everything. So it's not technically a doubled leading tone because the leading tones are not um, functioning like leading tones normally do. Or you can ease that a little bit by adding some inversions here. It's just you have to be really careful once you start um, adding inversions or you start messing with the chords, you have to make sure that your pattern stays exactly the same for it to be a sequence. So like for example, if I use a leading tone six here or a tonic six, I mean, I'm gonna have to get rid of all my bass notes and every other chord. I would have to invert the third chord. I'd have to invert the next uh, submedian and I have to invert this as well. So this would be this bass line, which is actually a much smoother bass line. So if that doubled leading tone leaves a bad taste in your mouth, this is a very easy way to get around that. So just to quickly summarize, the circle of fifth sequence is just simply a sequence that goes through the descending circle of fifths. And it doesn't even need to be all of them. It would still be considered a circle of fifth sequence if we just had those first three. Because remember, you have to have three in order to be in, uh, considered a sequence. Otherwise, it's just sort of happenstance. And uh, you can, if you follow the circle of fifths, go all the way through from beginning to end, and it will resolve itself because the last two, actually the last three are a two, five, one, a supertonic dominant tonic through that circle of fifths. And really our harmonic progression chart that we talked about in an earlier video, it basically follows this circle of fifths. And really everything is sort of governed by the circle of fifths in tonal music. And uh, that's it for the circle of fifth sequence. We're gonna, in the next couple of videos, do some different uh, versions of this circle of fifth sequence. Thanks.